Hello my friends! In this lesson we will see how we can get the previous row value in Power BI. This can be a useful technique in many scenarios. We will see three methods. The first one is with a table relationships with a related function. This one is the quickest when you have a big table. The second one will involve Power Query, a formula in the M language. And the third one, a formula in DAX. So, now let's see what is the scenario. Okay, so we have this table with the date and profit and we want a new column that uh, has this uh, previous row value. We edit the query and we'll add an index column starting with zero. Okay. And now we need to create another table, a helper table, reference. Okay. We will call this helper table. And the only thing that we need from this helper table is the profit column. Okay, and now we will add an index starting from 1. Okay, we go to home, close and apply. And now the new table is created and Power BI already created a relationship which is, which is not correct, it's with the So we create the new relationship index with index. Okay. And now we will go to the first table and create a new column, which will be called previous row. And we will use the related function and helper table profit to get the profit from the helper table. Okay. And we see that we have the correct value from the previous row. This is the first method. Let's go to the second method with Power Query. So we start with the initial table and we edit the query. What we need now is to add a custom column that will get the previous row value from the profit. We'll name it previous row. And now, what we need? We need to refer to the table and then to the row and then to the column. So, in the M language, how we refer to the table? In Power Query, the table is the previous step, but what we miss is an index. So now, we will cancel the custom column and we will first create an index column starting from zero. Okay, and now we can refer to the row. So, previous row. Okay, so we now refer to the table. The table is referred like this. Added index, the name of the previous step. Okay, then we want to refer to the row, but how we refer to the row, we open curly brackets and say the row from the index column, okay? But we want row minus one. We close the curly bracket and then we have to name 
the column from where we have to take that row and the column is profit okay let's see what we get you see that we have the previous row how we can uh, get rid of that error we use try and catch like an if error in Excel okay try this otherwise null okay and now we have the correct result so this is the second method with Power Query now we go to the third one with DAX we start as in the previous cases with a table we edit the query and add an index column but from one index you use it from one okay close and apply and now we will just add a new column where we use the lookup value formula like a VLOOKUP in Excel so it's very simple we called previous row okay and we say lookup value first we have to see which is the result that we want we want profit column profit then search column name it is index okay and the value that we want to search is previous row index minus one okay let's see so we have the correct result so this is the third method with DAX I hope you find this uh, video useful please like and subscribe thank you